Back with Adam's Country with another Marvel Legends video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel's 80 Years Retro version of Storm. And this is the look that I've been waiting for for this character. If I said it once, I've said it a bagajillion times. I love the 90s style. Whether it was the uh, the Jim Lee comic books at the time, which I was really very much into, or you know, the X-Men animated series. They kind of tied into each other, and this is the look that Storm had. And I absolutely love it. I also really love what they're doing with this retro packaging. Very much like the uh, the old days, you got that blister here that fully showcases her, and then the uh, card actually looks really very awesome. Like I said, a lot like that old vintage figure. You come around in the back, and then you got the other vintage figures that are in this line. I'm not really sure uh, if I'm going to pick up Iceman. That's a possibility. I do like the uh, Iceman that we got a little bit ago with the, oh, I don't even remember what build a figure. Was that Juggernaut? I'm not, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, the Wolverine, I don't care too much about. Uh, Dazzler, uh, again, not too thrilled about. Silver Samurai, maybe, because that kind of has that look that I like. Uh, the Cyclops, nah. Storm was the, the must-have for this for me. Yeah, and then you got a bit of a, a read-up right here in a whole bunch of uh, different languages. But it says that Storm has the amazing immune power to control weather. With a quick mental command, Storm can create anything from a simple summer shower to a raging hurricane. By raising her arms, she can command the winds to carry her anywhere. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. But I do really love what they're doing with the package. It makes me so very disappointed that I gotta destroy this to get the figure out here, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna rip it apart. So without further ado, let's get her out here and see how cool she actually is. And here we have Aurora Monroe, otherwise known as Storm, opened up and out of her packaging. And I'm just, I'm absolutely in love with this look. Now, Storm, much like all the X-Men throughout history, have really altered their looks through the different decades. You know, in the early 80s, she had that whole uh, punk look. Before that, she wore a black costume. Through the 90s, primarily, she had this costume. And this is, like I said, the costume that I was really kind of introduced to her as and absolutely fell in love with. Now, starting off first, she does come with uh, several different soft goods here. I mean, very soft, very flexible, very rubbery. Uh, but you can see their lightning effects, which look great. You can kind of open them up a little bit, and then they curve around so you can uh, get it... Uh, fairly easily, I mean, getting her to stand is a little bit difficult. She's a little bit uh, wobbly and, well, kind of kind of heavy with the hair. Uh, that's one of the biggest things. So you, you do have to uh, kind of balance her. But you can see you get her arm out there, and you can literally just take this and kind of just wrap this around and create that look. Uh, I mean, it doesn't require too much to get her looking pretty cool. So uh, you do get two of them, which is really very nice. Uh, as for the figure, again, the look I absolutely love. Uh, taking a look at it, it's kind of a pearlescent color. It's not really all that white. As you move it around, uh, I don't know how well it's gonna come across on the camera because I know uh, I have fairly bright lights. Uh, I did tone down the exposure, so relax. But uh, I mean, you can kind of see a slight pearlescence to her costume, which gives a very nice shimmery look to it. I think it looks great. Uh, starting off first with the head sculpt though, absolutely gorgeous. I love that they got her eyes white as if she's kind of zoning in to her mutant ability and utilizing that uh, to control the weather around her. That was always something that was very common. I love the fact that they got the uh, lightning bolt earrings on her. That's a great touch. Hair is fantastic. Uh, I really love the way that it looks. It's sculpted in a way that it is kind of far from the actual head. So you can still rotate that around fairly decently. And then you can see the shading is phenomenal. Uh, you got a lot of white and gray throughout there, which really gives a gorgeous, gorgeous look. But it is heavy, uh, so it does kind of want to topple her over a little. Uh, mostly uh, the ankles aren't too bad, but they're kind of an in-between sort of pose. So I'm probably going to have to put her on some kind of a peg stand to get her to really stand properly. 
Gorgeous shoulder pads right here, which really does nicely look like what she wore in uh, the 90s, obviously. Uh, they're semi-attached. I think they just peg in here. I'm not going to play with it too much. I've seen some people mess with it, and it kind of destroys the figure. But you got that nice yellow kind of accent in different areas. Obviously, you got the little X logos right there. Rest of the suit is, again, very simple. Uh, just this pearlescent white color, but really very nice looking and really captures some of the light very nicely. Uh, you can see their hands are both in this open gesture. Um, they're slightly different uh, in terms of the poses. You can kind of see that uh, the fingers here on her right hand are a little bit more exaggerated than the ones here on her left. Uh, I do wish she came with some fists, but it does work really nicely with her uh, lightning effects when you have it on there because it actually looks like she's like zapping electricity or summoning it from her, which is cool. Uh, I love her cape here in the back. Again, very classic to that 90s look, uh, especially when you get both arms out there. I mean, that is a very cool look and then you can see that you got some yellow trim around the outside it is a uh, it's a soft goods type of thing it's not plastic or anything well it's maybe plasticky i'm not exactly sure what it's made out of but you can kind of see a little bit of wrinkling in there i don't know how you can really fix that um without ironing it ironing it uh, but you probably wouldn't want to do that. I mean, I don't even know how well you can actually see. You can kind of see the wrinkles in there. But the rest, I mean, the whole body does look really nice. And then the rest of the legs are just, again, in that same kind of color tone. So really very, very sharp. Uh, good looking figure. Uh, like I said, this is my preferred look for her. And uh, I think that they did really an amazing job uh, it is just unfortunate that i mean you can get her to stand obviously uh but it is tricky to kind of do uh now for her articulation there is some restrictions to it uh, mostly because of the way that uh, the cape and the uh, the hair is so the head at the neck is on a ball joint so you can kind of get that looking left and right and then pivoting side to side and then you have a hinge so you can hinge it way far down and that looks really quite disturbing <laughs> but you can get it kind of also looking back but uh, the main purpose i feel is like to keep it shifted back into a, a normal looking position uh, the shoulders here are on pin hinge shoulders uh, you can't really get them going completely straight up because these are in the way they kind of go out to the side like so and then you can hinge them in and out like that uh, the rotation is at the elbow so you have a hinge and then you have a rotation there so you don't have anything at the bicep but the wrists do have that forward and back motion and they also rotate uh, she does have an upper diaphragm joint right here uh, now I know shout out to Shardimus Prime because he does not like that and I don't blame him um, I think that's just kind of partially because this is a, a, a thinner body so uh, I mean you you can get it going back further I don't think it's meant to do that and you get that gap right there uh, but it's it's there it's it's a little bit ugly but I don't think it's I don't know what they could do about it because you, you have to keep the whole uh, waist area kind of small uh, and then she does rotate there she doesn't have a waist rotation so all the articulation comes at that ball joint right up there uh, the hips do move forward and back those are on ball joints so you get a pretty good range of motion with those rotation at the upper part of the thigh you get two bends at the knee uh, but because of the way that this one is it's you, you kind of have to play with it a little bit so that's the uh, range of motion there ankles move forward and back uh, but th the ratchet joint there is a little bit weird so that's why i was saying it's a little bit difficult to get her to balance um because the ratchet joints don't seem to line up in a really good way again you can do it it just takes some patience and it's not a very solid uh, i mean she's fallen over on my desk many many times and it's kind of annoying oh, and then she also does have the weird ankle tilt uh, but all in all I, I love this figure i think that uh, the look is exactly what i want uh, for my storm figure uh, to to kind of replicate and uh, I, I, we've gotten several different storm figures before. A lot of people like the punk one, um, or even the you know the the black outfit, uh, which is very similar to this outfit, but uh, obviously black and not white. Um, 
I just, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we all, we all end up liking, you know, certain aspects uh, of characters for whatever reason, whatever we were introduced to them as. And I just was introduced to her uh, looking like this. And I think she looks absolutely gorgeous like this. I, I really, really do. Um, real powerful character, uh, both in terms of personality and uh, mutant ability as well. I mean, being able to control the weather is no menial task. I mean, it's it's a, a very impressive mutant ability to be able to do something like that. And I really think that uh, Hasbro has nailed it uh, with her in, in her overall look. I'm just futzing with her to kind of get a real cool look because I want to get a good looking thumbnail. I feel like I don't get good looking enough thumbnails uh, you guys tell me you see the thumbnail more than I see the, th the thumbnail so I'll have to play with her but overall again great figure highly recommend her if you're a fan of the X-Men this is a must-have so all that being said if Storm is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection she is hitting various retail locations right now so if you're looking for her, good luck and happy hunting or as always you can skip all that and make it simple on yourself and go online to places such as Big Bad Toy Store. For that, I'll put a link down in the video description where you'll go to BBTS and you can check out availability on her as well as the rest of the wide range of Marvel Legend figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it, guys, if you would do one small thing for me. I know I say it all the time, but please hit that thumbs up button. That one small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out and I would really appreciate it. Also, a huge thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch the video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. I'd also like to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons who through their continued support now more than ever help to make reviews like this possible. And if you'd like information on how you can help support my channel by becoming a patron, feel free to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash optobotomous. And finally, remember, grow wise, grow strong, but never grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.